What's up everybody? So today we're going to go ahead and do an orb opening for Yelena Belova. I haven't decided if I'm going to um, purchase her yet or just do it the traditional way with cores. Um, and also what I want to do is uh, actually depending on what I pull on her for red stars, I might determine which direction I go. So uh, stick around. All right, guys, welcome back. So let's uh, kind of just get into it. Um, again, what I want to do is do a um, red star opening. Pop-ups galore here. All right. So I have 70 regular red star orbs. And let's make sure she is at the additional percentage here. And she is. <coughs> so you know, here at uh, Death Squad Gaming, I am a big uh, proponent of the seed theory. So we'll kind of pull, um, actually I'll pull some gold orbs, I have plenty of those. And then uh, we'll see if we're in a good seed and just kind of go from there. So let's begin. One, two, Three, off to a terrible start so far. Four. Five. Six. <coughs> seven. I mean, I'm getting color, but not, not the color I want. Eight. Nine. And ten. All right. So, there's a couple different ways you can change your seed, um, you know, spending the 400k um, will do it, claiming milestones, uh, I've also heard, will do the trick. So let's do that. And I know you guys are a patient bunch. So I do appreciate it, but I think I'm just going to get right into it. And I haven't had a good pool in, in quite some time, so... It's like that streak might continue. Hmm, okay. So as it stands now, I have three uh, Elite Fours, and there's a one Yelena. So I just need to find a place to spend the 400k. Um, best place in my opinion is to just get some some tunes leveled up so let me rank Salter up and let's jump into that again so all right so we got a three I already have a six red star wasp So, getting some okay drops, a lot of duplicates, unfortunately. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's a good one. Unfortunately, uh, I have him already. So let's see if I can get, there we go, okay. So I have five Elite Fours, I 
don't want to use all these. Maybe three at the most. So let's see what we get. Okay. A four Yelena, is that enough? Is that enough to buy? I don't know that it is just yet. I don't want to blow my whole lot on her, so. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Uh, I'm going to do one more. One more here. No whammies. No whammies. Okay. So out of all that, I get a five Spider-Man to upgrade. Well, maybe he'll get a rework one day. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at this chick's kit before I go in too hard on her. So attack primary for damage, gain an assist from a random skill military or Black Widow ally. Uh, and then it looks like she starts to transfer effects um, once you kind of get her upgraded. So go in dark, trans transfer one positive effect excluding top from primary target to stealth, uh, to stealth and all skill military attack primary target for 90% damage. And apply disrupted. So gaining stealth. I mean, she to me is just a better version of Black Widow. Except for this ult. Ult's nothing to ride home, home about. Okay, uh, I mean, that's just an interesting component there. So let's, let's just, uh, again, I, I really value my cores for the ability to do <coughs> refreshes and things like that, but I, I think I'm sitting, sitting pretty good. So, I mean, this could cost me, you know, 5,000 cores to unlock her. Is that worth it? I don't know. Um, okay. Let's go ahead. Okay. I know I'm bouncing around here. So let's, let's do one. Ugh. I, I couldn't tell you what my password is here. Uh, hold on, I'm going to pause this. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back. So, let's... Uh, let's open up some... Some stuff for Yelena here. Okay. Did I miss it? All right. Hmm. And something other than green, pretty please. All green, of course. Where is she? Okay. That is Kitty. I mean, it's potential here. I could barely unlock her. So... 
Try and change, change my luck a little bit. Definitely not going to do it on Nebula. There's got to be somebody I can rank up. I don't think there is. Okay. And, I mean, these guys are not any anyone I really want to want to rank up. So let's see. Let's just go with it. Screw it. Okay. Oh, I can claim claim a milestone here. I got one. Okay, four more. Yeah, this is about the worst possible orb opening I could have hoped for. <coughs> Ten, yippee, okay. Just terrible. Absolutely terrible. All right, so um, I'm going to pause here, and then I'm going to get her leveled up. All right, so uh, took her up to tier 10, 6664. Um, only sitting at about 28K here. So um, might just get a few more orbs. So let's do some quick math here. So if I wanted to get her to at least three, and let's say I average eight. What am I at now? With her, I am at... Nine of 55, so I need 46 more. Okay, so if I want to average eight, and it's gonna cost me about 4,000 cores to get her up there. Is it worth it? Maybe. But I have gotten some pretty good pulls in the past, not this time, but I've gotten an 80 a couple times, so hope for something better. So 12, that's that's good. Another 6. Six again. 10. Where are we at? Forty-three, so I'm twelve away. So maybe we can get a twelve pool here. So I need to open at least two more. One and two. All right. <laughs> Was it the smartest thing to do? Probably not. Probably should have just ponied up the twenty-five. I. Feel like I'd probably get more out of her with that, just to go up, you know, four thousand. But um, let's take a look at her T four, see what's worth it. Um, so Widow Strike, her T four, fifty percent damage to primary. This character or at any ally has stealth, always transfer two positive effects. Um, might be worth taking a look at msf.gg to see what her, because uh, I made her a striker just to kind of see what. Um, you know, she's in stealth all the time. This might be worth it if it always is transferring two positive effects. So, um, going dark, 40% to, to primary, apply disruptor for two turns, gain plus two stealth up to a maximum of three. That's pretty good. Uh, four turn cooldown. Dasvidanya, 50% to primary and secondary, plus 30% crit chance. That'd be nice with uh, 
<laughs> you know, in the meantime, run her and Punisher and the um, Merc Soldier with Shatterstar and Longshot might not be too shabby. These guys need a lot of work too, though. And then um, T4 is on our ult, plus 50% crit damage, lower crit chance by an additional 15%. So that, I feel like that's directly aimed at X Factor already. And there's some pretty solid ones here. Um, If I'm being honest, this is probably the first one I'd go after. So I need to take her... To take her there. And then... <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that one. And then it just, uh, that one kind of makes sense. I'm going to hold off for a minute. Let's just uh, take this team in battle real fast. Let's take them in and blitz. So let's see here. Um, actually, okay, so let's get military. And let's put Punisher, Mark Soldier, and Elena. And let's see what this team can do. Of course, I'm on tier one, so it's probably not going to be. It's not going to be. Oh, okay. Simulate, of course. Just full of blunders tonight, guys. Any day now, let's go. All right. So uh, this is a pretty winnable fight, so I'm gonna just use these guys' basics. And he's still slaughtering fools, okay. wrong button there. So I never use this guy. So he's playing bleed. So let's slow this down. So our ult, attack primary and adjacent, clear all deflects. Nice, okay. So, uh, yeah, not really getting too much out of that battle, just because uh, a little too early, but maybe uh, tier 7 in Blitz I might be able to see a little bit more, but um, 
Tell me what you think, guys. You know, what was your luck with Yelena? Let me know in the comments section what you pull. Um, make sure you give me a sub subscribe and a follow, all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, new videos here to come out soon. So talk to you guys later. Thanks.